Hi everybody, it's Ms. Tread, the school principal of Fields Elementary. We are starting our Friday afternoon assembly, so we're going to go ahead and get started. We have some announcements for y'all today and some information and of course our Falcons of the Week. We want to start out by continuing to thank you families for everything that you do. We appreciate your support, your dedication, your positive attitudes, your flexibility, and please know that we are here to continue to support you along the way. Gracias familias, apreciamos toda su dedicación, apoyo, actitudes positivas y flexibilidad mientras navegamos estos tiempos muy nuevos y muy diferentes, y gracias por todo lo que hacen um, por nosotros, por sus niños, por la escuela. Um, gracias por todo. So thank you again, families. Happy birthday to those of you that had a birthday this week. We hope that you had a great day. Feliz cumpleaños a todos los que cumplieron um, cumpleaños este semana. So feliz cumpleaños a todos. Happy birthday to all of you. We are kicking off National Physical Education Week. So we are kicking off um, this week starting today. You saw this morning we were wearing our sports jersey. So I hope that you continue to participate in our National Physical Education Week. So Ms. Benavides has created some great activities for all of us to continue to do. So of course, today we were starting out with Fan Friday. Um, so on Monday, we'll see you exercising on something with wheels. So maybe riding your bike, skateboard, and then continuing throughout the week. Ms. Benavides has also posted this on the Class Dojo School Story. If you do these activities, please make sure that you're tagging us on Twitter at Fields Falcons and at Ms. Benavides' Twitter handle that you can find at the bottom of the screen. Familias, estamos celebrando la Semana de Educación Física. La semana que viene, pues estamos empezando hoy. Y continuando la semana que viene, todas estas actividades son algo que los niños pueden hacer para su salud. Ms. Benavides también puso esta información en el Class Jojo School Story. So si quieren fijar las cosas que los niños pueden hacer todos los días, ahí está en el Class Jojo. We are also kicking off Teacher and Staff Appreciation Week. We will be starting that on Monday Thank you so, so much, teachers and staff, for all that you do. La semana que viene es reconocimiento para las maestras y todos los empleados de la escuela. Queremos darles muchas gracias por todo lo que hacen. So if you haven't yet, this is the absolute last moment to submit your videos or your pictures. If you would like them added to our video, um, we would love to include um, our students and our families expressing our thanks to our teachers and staff. So please make sure that you email them to me and my email address can be found down below or you can send them to me on Class Dojo. Um, so please make sure um, parents will go ahead and say 5 p.m. is the deadline for that. So please send those. Si quieren participar en video o retrato o dibujo o algo para las maestras para un video que vamos a presentar, pueden mandar eso a mí. Um, a las cinco ya voy, ya no voy a aceptar um, videos o retratos o nada. So por favor, si todavía quieren entregar algo, que me lo manden. Mi correspondencia electrónica ahí está. O si quieres mandármelo en Class Dojo. Also, we are thinking of some non-cost ways to celebrate our teachers and staff. So there are a few ideas. You'll find this also on our Class Dojo School Story, on Twitter, on Facebook, um, helping us say thank you to our teachers and by sending them notes or sending them pictures and things like that. Participation is completely optional, but here are some ideas if you would like to do that for um, your teachers, staff, um, anyone on campus. So, si quieren participar, estos son ideas diarios para los maestras para celebrarlos. Si quieren mandarles un notita o retrato o algo, o si quieren poner algo en el Facebook or Twitter. Um, aquí nada más son ideas. La participación es opcional. So thank you. We have um, one of our teachers who is a counseling intern ready with our emotional intelligence. Oh, hey, Fields Falcons. My name is Miss Gantu. I'm 
currently a school counselor intern at our campus, and I am here today to talk to you about some tools that can help you move from being in the red zone to the green zone. So I have three steps for you, okay? You want to make sure you take a deep breath. Typically, when we feel frustrated or angry, we like to take a deep breath. So you make sure that you inhale and exhale. Make sure you do that fully so that you can really feel the effect of that. Then you want to make sure that you size the problem. So if your problem is not as big, maybe your reaction should not be as big either. You want to make sure that both of these are similar to each other in size. And the third one is to simply give yourself a break. We all deserve it. We're working very, very hard. I love you very much. I miss you dearly. And I hope that these steps help you to be a lot more successful in your learning experiences through distance learning. Take care and be well. Thank you so much, Ms. Gantu, for those great tips. Some announcements. The deadline to order yearbooks is on Tuesday, May 5th. That is this Tuesday. Um, so if you have yet to do that, you may order online at compe.pictavo.com. Search for Fields Elementary. The cost is $25, and we will get you those yearbooks as soon as we return to school. Um, Padres, si están interesados en ordenando un yearbook, el martes, el día 5 de mayo, es el último día que pueden um, ordenarlos. Van a necesitar a ir a ese sitio web que es c-o-m-m-p-e dot pictavo.com y van a viajar en nuestra escuela, Fields Elementary School. Es $25 y los libros se van a estar dados cuando regresamos a la escuela, pero el martes es el último día para ordenarlos. Fifth graders, please continue to submit your baby pictures to your teachers. Los niños de quinto grado, por favor, um, que manden su retrato de bebé para sus maestras. We have our top dream box performers. That is our math app um, para el app de matemáticas. Aquí están los niños que sacaron adelante. Good afternoon, boys and girls. Here are the top dream box performers. In kinder, we have Tadeo Gonzalez. In first grade, we have Valeria Ortiz. In second grade, we have Luis Paez. In third grade, we have Kayla Amador. In fourth grade, we have Fernando Sanchez. And in fifth grade, we have Eli Martinez. Congratulations to all our Dreambox top performers. Please continue to work hard, and next week we'll be giving prizes to those of you that show the most growth in Dreambox. See you next week. Thank you so much, Ms. Campos, and keep working hard, boys and girls, on that Dreambox app. We now have our top AR performers. Eso es la programa que pueden tomar examen cuando terminan de leer un libro. Hello, boys and girls. It's Miss Lopez, and I am so excited to announce my top AR readers for this week. So let me start with my drum roll. Congratulations to Joaquin Riojas in fourth grade, Diego Munoz in third grade, Mariano Quiroz in second grade, Maximus Lopez in third grade, Yaritza Cerda in fifth grade. Congratulations, boys and girls. I'm so very happy and so very proud that you are continuing to read. Boys and girls, I encourage you to check out ebooks and to keep AR testing if you need any help on how to access ebooks, feel free to reach out to me via email and I will gladly help you and take you through the steps of accessing ebooks so that you can AR test and hopefully I'll announce your name next week. Bye bye. Continue boys and girls, great job and thank you Ms. Lopez. To read, read, read. Necesitan estar leyendo mucho en la casa. We now have our Achieve 3000 Challenge winners. Hey, Field Talkers, this is Ms. Ramirez, and I'm excited to announce this week's Achieve 3000 Weekly winners. In first place, we have Maria Landeros in fourth grade with Ms. Vianney Peña with over 28 articles. Congratulations, and again, her average is of 88%, so congratulations, that's a big accomplishment. We also have 
Mr. Maddox Moore Jr. in third grade with Miss Erica Benya. And Alexis James coming in third with Miss Jackie Cantu, fourth grade classroom. Honorable mention to go out to Kayla Almador in third grade with Miss Marriquez. And in fifth grade, we have Dana Cuella with Miss Yanis. Congratulations and thank you for stepping up to the challenge. Third through fifth grade students, we continue with our weekly challenges. I'm looking forward to seeing more students um, rising to that challenge. And again, just keep reading, reading, reading. Until next week, we'll see you. Thank you so much, Ms. Ramirez. And again, boys and girls, make sure that you are continuing to read, 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 and practicing on Achieve 3000. Que leen mucho y que todavía están practicando en el app Achieve 3000. Now for our Falcons of the Week. In pre-K, Marifer Fuentes, Lupita Palomino. In kinder, Miranda Gonzalez, Eileen Esqueda, Victoria Hernandez, and Kenneth Jenkins. In first grade, Camila Schiffer, Natalie Palacios, and Jaden Martinez. In second grade, Brian Hernandez, Dariana Vasquez, Marco Bonilla. In third grade, Nefi Trevino, Jose Palomino, Sebastian Gamis, and Jose Parga. In fourth grade, Axel Amaya, Josue Mendoza, Emma Medeles. In fifth grade, Alfredo Tobias, Ivan Ortiz, Fernanda Bonilla, Corina Lopez. In specials, in library, Joaquin Rios, in music, Ramon Alanis, and in PE, Maddox Mordu. Some words from our staff, Fields Falcons. Hi, Fields Falcons. Your teachers and staff have a message for you. We want to let you know that we, we miss you. you. <laughs> also, boys and girls, we love you all very much. Love you. <laughs> love you guys. Boys and girls, we'd love all of you very, very much. Please stay safe. We miss you. We hope that we get to see you soon. Um, please take care of yourselves. Cuídense mucho. Queremos a todos ustedes. Please continue to take care of yourself. We love you. And as always, please remember to work hard and be kind. Stay safe, boys and girls. We love you.